So 10 years ago, a band was formed. It was called Juno. It's still talked about to this day. And I should remember a minute. What was Juno? <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. Um, Juno were a Scottish band. Um, they gigged and toured it quite extensively for about four or five years. They were formed in 2004. We split up in 2009. Um, we played most Scottish festivals and we had a few DIY releases which were very well received. And we had a great fan base um, who was really, really kind to us. Um, we recorded, mastered and produced a, um, a, fully, a fully complete album, but sadly it never saw the light of day because um, the Japanese record label was supposed to be coming out and something fell through with the deal and um, this is really where we are today. And as I was saying, still talked about this day, you featured in Fife's top 100 bands and I suppose for people who don't really know much of it, you know, what did you sound like? Um, Ah, it's difficult to say. I mean, I suppose um, we, we, were, we were quite experimental and we were very electronic. Um, but at the basis of that was always quite quite poppy songs, I suppose. We've been likened over the years, I suppose, to you know, beat a band, Primal Scream, and kind of the more, I suppose, more interesting, you know, again, experimental kind of Scottish bands, really. Okay. And people were saying you're a bit baggy-ish too? Uh, there was a bit of that in it. Certainly, there was, a, there was a lot of percussion and there was a lot of dancing around. Uh, made a lot of fun life, you know. As, and the, the, the roster of members at various points could be, could be enormous, you know, it could be as many sort of eight or ten people on stage. And that brings me to the question about why I'm speaking to you today. What is it you're asking for that lovely public out there? <laughs> well, as they've been so kind to us over the years, um, we do still get a lot of people contact us through the social media and the um, Facebook sites and so on, asking us if we'll ever put the album out and if we'll ever see the light of day. Um, a fan of the band approached us and asked um, if we'd be interested in putting together a played music campaign. We naturally um, were rather knocked out by his excitement for the project. Um, so we're hoping that people will support the manufacture and release of this album. Uh, as I say, it's all ready to go, artwork and everything's done. Um, so it's just a case really of you know, printing costs and distribution and so on. Um, naturally, obviously, it'll go from you know, fairly cheap prices up to um, more specialised packages where, where we'll come around and you know do your ironing or whatever. <laughs> you're gonna um, hold you to that. You're gonna hold you to that. <laughs> you haven't seen my ironing. <laughs> um, yeah, you know we, we've yet to discuss it with with all the members of the band as to who's gonna be doing what. But there'll be some interesting things there. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that is the appeal, and as I say, talked about still to this day, and hopefully going to put a lot of people out of their misery if this release gets done. So. Good luck! It'd be wonderful if it could happen. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you.